Hey guys, Paul here. I am going to give you a um, walk around introduction to Active Campaign. Uh, I think it's excellent. I think it's probably one of the best lower end uh, marketing tools. And by lower end, I mean if Infusionsoft is the top, which I completely recommend as well, then this is the next level. Maybe beginner, beginner level, not lower end. It's probably the worst thing to say. So um, you're looking at. Uh, newsletters, CRM, um, online contact forms, and general marketing tools to help you manage your contact list and get your info out there. Uh, so there's all sorts it'll do. I'll just dive straight in, and you can try it for free for 14 days. Um, I'll put in my company, which is Happy Me Limited. I'll put in an email address, which. I've already got an account because I do use Active Campaign. Um, uh, Paul N. PaulNicholson.com. One moment while we create your account. And it's going to go in, and I'm going to set a password. Uh, I will remember. What are you interested in? Email marketing, marketing automation. They'll probably send you stuff on that. So it's whether you tick it or not. Uh, or, they, or they might. How many contacts do you have? Less than two and a half thousand. What type of help would you like? I prefer self service, but if you need some help, you put in there. So I'll just go for it. So uh, this is a test area, I think. Create a new campaign. I think they auto populate it with, with test stuff. So. Um, I'll just use show you what I use it for and then we can come back to do stuff so campaigns are like newsletters that you're gonna send out so you can create a campaign create a list or else you obviously need a list so business email list website HTTP happy me dot com uh, I don't know, you signed up via our uh, website, whatever. Create a list, right? So I haven't got any contacts in there. So uh, I usually do these because I work with security companies. I, I usually do them as a security company. So I'll do it and talk to you as if you're selling security. Um, you know, you'll get what I'm going for with it um, on other things. So. Uh, where do we want to start? So if I go back to campaigns, add a new campaign. You're gonna do a regular newsletter, automated. What we'll do is we'll do a standard one for now. Enter a name, um, CCTV discount, right? And then next, business email list. You're gonna obviously you'll have different emails there. You'll have different lists. None of your lists have chosen import. Choose something else. What do you want to do? So you probably want to add some contacts, but if I can get away without doing it for now, I'll just try to. I'll try to. Um, do you want? It's gonna ask me for a. So I'll put in me, uh, Paul at paulnicholson.com. First name Paul Nicholson. Up in me limited, and if you give it a task, you might put up business, um, you might be a friend, and you add. So I've got now. I've got a contact. I believe if I click there, it'll it'll automatically find me on LinkedIn via that email, which is a cool feature. So if I go there, it finds my um, LinkedIn. Just looking up top, it should be Paul Nicholson Go. I need to change that, I'll change it later. And it does um, grab your picture eventually. I mean, you can't really find me on, it will find you on Twitter and Facebook as well, I've seen it do it. Um, I may not have used that email address on my um, Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, that's interesting. But uh, anyway, so if I go back to campaigns now, now I've got a person in, so CCTV discount. I'm gonna go business email list, one person on it. I'm gonna go preview this one, twenty percent off. I'm gonna use this design, email subject, discount twenty percent. 
CCTV, continue. And then you can edit, you know, all this. You can buy now, you can click here and say, go to httppaulnicholson.com. And you'd be like, whatever, wherever your sales page would be, right? Um, you go through, you've probably used other, other, uh, programs for changing stuff, but you'll see, you know, you can change this. You could say use discount code CCTV 20% or whatever it is at your checkout. You know, you can save it, then you can go to next. And if your list is a valid physical mailing address, but I don't know about that. So down here I can send a test. All right, it doesn't let me on this. Email client. I always want you to charge for that. Spam check passed. Uh, edit lists. This campaign campaign will be sent. Will send immediately. Uh, what is it asking for? I don't send a lot of newsletters out, which I'm guessing you can tell did I save this is the point where someone's scratch shouting at the screen what are you doing um, you haven't done something oh I didn't actually mean to go into this part straight away subject list contact your list does not have a valid all oh, right so I've actually just read it right so happy be limited it's in the UK United Kingdom, I don't know, unit four, business point, Lane, Doncaster, DN5, 9PP, right? So you have to, by law, provide a, uh, oh, bum. You have to, by law, provide a um, an address in this field, uh, unit four. Da, 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 da. So yeah, obviously I meant to just show you around. So now it says, now I've put that address in, now it says send a test email. So I can send it, test warning, it's gonna go from the same person who's come. Go to my email, here's the Happy Me Limited discount 20%. And you can see that worked fine and Da -da. send now, send campaign now. Done, right, so I've sent a newsletter, I created one, created a list, and away it went, right? So how fast it'll come, and it's already there, look. So it's already there, that's the same, that's the one now sent. Come through, looks great. Uh, obviously you're gonna have your technical geniuses or your marketing people change stuff, but that is simple. Uh, automations I'll come back to because they're a little bit funky but I do like them. Um, so that is, if somebody fills out this form, then assign this salesman to contact them. When this salesman's contacted them, uh, send out a welcome pack. When a welcome pack's been filled out, send out uh, the invoice or send out. So you can build out a automation of, of things. I haven't done a, a whole lot. I am gonna start building out some really cool ones soon for some training I'm doing. Uh, so I'll come back to that, but deals is gonna be where your CRM is. So you're gonna add a pipeline. So what am I gonna say? CCTV uh, sales, right, whatever it is. Round robin is is if you've got more than one salesman and you want to give a different one a salesman every time. Uh, you can select the cur currency, so I'll put it in pounds. Permissions all. So it's got his three there's three stages of a deal. You can obviously add more, but what I'm gonna do is add a deal for me, right? So I'm gonna to go to deals up the top and I'm gonna do new deal, uh, CCTV system. I think it's gonna be a 5,000 pound system, pipeline CCTV sales. The stages I've got to contact me and the user is happy me I can add users later. 
So that's it, I've got that deal in the system. I can send an email, CCTV uh, query. Hello, so you were interested in a new CCTV system. Let's talk. Obviously, you're going to write better emails than that. And send, right? So then up here, success, your email's sent. Up here, there's going to become a, a, a list of what's happened. So your other salesman can come in and see what, what has gone out, right? Recent activity, email sent. Hello, so, right? So I know that Happy Me Limited, or it might be salesman John Smith has contacted this customer. And... Uh, this email here, hello, so you are interested in CC, CCTV system, let's talk. So you can email direct from that um, from Active Campaign. You can set the deal up. So now you can go to this deal and put to contact is now in contact and save. Uh, and if I go to deals now, that's going to be CCTV system there. So again, I can jump in, jump out, all these places. I can drag and drop it across. So if they basically, if, if I'm in contact, gone to follow up, it's gone to provide a quote, it's gone to whatever, or I need to go back to in contact. I might want to add a new deal. Um, camera round the back door, back office, whatever it might be, thousand. CCTV pipeline, contact email address is Paul at paulnicholson.com and it'll pick it up if it's already in. Add deal. Um, new deal. John Smith. Uh, let's do let's do another. So we can add a pipeline. Let's do fire alarms here, right? I mean, you probably have a sales pipeline and, and then a, a marketing pipeline or a, I'm not really sure how your pipelines would be. Uh, but let's say John... Smith fire alarm uh, ten thousand pound or one thousand ten thousand and then I can pick the pipeline so I'm gonna go fire alarm so you might have a fire alarm salesman and a, a burglar alarm salesman and again you could pick uh, I'm gonna put John Smith at paulnicholson.com John Smith Select, does he work for him? Add a newer. Works for John Smith Limited. They still have John Smiths, I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four, eight, 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 ten. Add deal. Right, so then John Smith's file alarm's in there and you can drag it along. You can go to John Smith, add a task, phone John Smith call when's that call gonna happen give myself two days add that call now when I go back to deals there's a there's a little checkbox here which says three days on it which is gonna tell me there's a task to call in three days I don't know John Smith has an old file alarm system he's been Told to replace it by the fire department, right? And you can add that to the deal or to the um, or to the uh, the contact itself. So then you're getting what I'm saying here. You can. It's a really cool way of seeing your contacts. John Smith. You can jump in. If that was a real person, you'd probably get some social links up here to go and check them out. So if you were looking at, um, say, mine, and it showed Facebook up here, you might go and look at their profile. Uh, you might go... Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't use LinkedIn enough, but I'm looking at myself as well, isn't it? So if I've got some latest posts... Um, I don't know. There's, you can go and check out what they've been up to, is what I'm saying. If, if it's a Twitter button here, um, you can click on their Twitter and go and check their Twitter feed out, and then you can talk to them about, you know, um, Paul's 
been golfing again. Had a great round. Talking about that, right? Had a great round at St Andrews, right? If you've seen that on their feed via Twitter, you've seen that on their feed, then you're going to come in and go, ah, right. So I'm going to get him talking about golf, and then I'm going to uh, talk about this deal, which he knows why I'm calling. So. That's the deal aspect. I mean, I, I, sometimes I add loads just to show you, but I think you can pretty much understand that. If I go in and, and change, uh, change this to CCTV and then go to deals, now it's gone from there. But if I change this to CCTV, you can see there's three there now. And again, you can just drag them a drop. And your goal is to get over to here and get to a one status. So when you go to deals, that one's gone because it's one. Um, and there you go, you can see the one ones. So you're obviously trying to get to a one status. So that's a really, really cool, really easy to use CRM. Um, I think it's excellent. I think it's really easy to use. It's, it's just so intuitive to get you around different places. Uh, we've talked about lists. So this is gonna be a list of different things you're gonna send out. To create a contact form, you're going to create a sign up form, website, inline form, subscribe to list, or do you want to tag or do you want to email? So I'm going to say subscribe to business list and create. So I can change it, edit it, I can then go to integrate. So if I'm going to embed it in my website, all I have to do is copy this image. If I go to a new page, da -da. oh man, what happened there? I got some plugins that need update. Oh, I've done it again. Get lost. test form and then go to text and drop in that code and then visual Ooh. and publish it may look um, after then your form comes up but obviously it's going to be it needs editing on that site for the format of my site it's trying to mirror my site but that is that form uh, you can go directly to this link. You could send this link into send people. You can integrate this form with with like um, lead pages or or optimized press, which is what I actually do. Um, WordPress. You can get a plugin and you can share it on Facebook. So. I'm, I'm jumping through that and someone might complain that I'm ju a little bit jumbled again, but there's a, so much to show in a quick video. But that's how you're gonna sign up a form and then you're gonna add it to your website or you're gonna put it in your sidebar or wherever you're gonna put it uh, for people to, to sign up to get, you know, if you're selling, if you're giving away a PDF uh, ebook to say sign up to this, you'll get the ebook, um, or that sort of thing. When you've got a lead page that comes in um you it'll then and that will then go to through an automation process so what you can do is i haven't done a lot of this uh product interest targeted follow-up so this is already a built out one so what we'll, we'll do with this so create an automation that says get started Send by email, it's gonna come from me. Send email out for me. Right, so tag in product, what is added, add new start. Right, so if I do add new start and go, I'm in a world of, of something I don't do a lot of. I wanna go opt-ins, really submit a form, right? So I know I've got sign up from website, runs once, segment the contacts entering this information. So if you want to do, if you wanted to put them into different areas of your contact list, you can. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna add that start, right? 
So now that is um, contact form submitted here is going to be that. So when someone fills that out, it then starts this automation. So wait an hour and then send a coupon. Send for product one, edit, send email to send, send an email. So it's a coupon, send product, coupon. Right, wait two days, send this email. Content related to interest, wait four days, send this email. Wait five days, send this email. So this is your autoresponders, this is your sales trail of, right, I'm gonna send them one day. Then when they've emailed this, so when I've emailed this, I might add, um, send email, send sign, conditions. I might uh, do, 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 jump to an action. What do I want? What am I looking for? CRM, this is what I want. I want to add a task, yeah. So I want to add a task to call, call after first email opened or clicked, right? Wait for zero minutes, most recent deal for this contact. All deal affects most recently updated. So you can say it's what deal it's gonna affect or not. I'm just gonna leave, leave it as most and then add a pipeline, CCTV and save it. So what that's going to do is that's going to send that email. It's going to wait an hour. It's going to send that email and then it's going to assign a task for me to call that person. Um, and then you're going to go through a sales automation. There's all sorts of different videos on what you need to do with automation. But you know, you're now getting somebody to sign in a form on your website or if you've sent them to a landing page or information page, they've given you their email. Then it's dropped into this automation or whatever automation you've sent, you know, it's gonna wait an hour, then it's gonna send the email with the coupon or the ebook or the whatever. When they click on that coupon, then they're gonna assign you a task. This person's interested. Three days after that, you're gonna call or you're gonna send another email three days later, what about this interest? And if you see them click on that, you might have another, um, here you go, update stage CCTV has gone from in uh, to contact to in contact. Right, it affects most deals for this person. Any pipeline where it's going to be CCTV and you save. So you can you, you can see there's all sorts of automation options to build out, you know, so for security companies, when you get somebody to sign off on on a job, then you need a load of information. So what you might do is build a form out that says name, address, phone numbers. So a lot of people have key holders. You might have a key holder form. You might have a, uh, a zone list that you've got to fill out. There's all sorts of paperwork you've got to get done. So if you build a form or you send an email saying, right, we need to get this filled out off you, and they go into an automation that is, this automation might be new customer information request. So you send them the form, they fill it out, then the next form might be email accounts, then accounts go in with their, you've, you've set a, a task for accounts to input that information and then send out requesting a deposit. And then the next one might be deposit received. So that might be a product. This might be, um, oh, you know, you set up a product to buy. You might be, um, Da, 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 da. complete, adjust, update, add deal. Yeah, I mean, there'll be somewhere where you can say they must go to a place to buy a product. And when they've bought the product, that's maybe them paying their deposit. Then it comes back to the next stage, which might be uh, send to service engineer, install engineer to, to schedule a time. And that person then tasks completed. Install job. Uh, Install job, job completed. You can make the whole thing automated to where is the stage of this job? Where is the stage of this automation? I think the opportunities are endless and it will take away a lot of the pain from you. Um, so I haven't really shown you exactly how it, how that works, but I think you're getting, there's all sorts of ways you build, you build out new start pages, you know. Somebody adds a tag, so I might go, uh, add a tag, CCTV sale, runs once, add start, right? So now when I go to contacts, 
if I was to go add tag here, CCTV sale, that would start that automation. So if I go back to this automation and go TCC, so when it sees somebody who's got CCTV tag sale, it starts that automation running. So here you go, queued one, right? Paul Nicholson, it's put me in that, it's put me in that automation. So it's really cool. I mean, it's really easy to use. It's one of them programs that gives you a warm feeling that you're going to understand it, you're going to get it. Um, and, you know, this is really dragged out. I didn't mean it to drag out so long, so I'm sorry, but I'm I'm using Active Campaign every day. I'm getting more into it. I'll answer any questions you've got um, going forward because I'll be using it. I'm using it as because I work for myself. I'm a one man band. I think Active Campaign's perfect for me. Um, pricing wise, it's, I'm paying fifty dollars a month, but I think. I think you'll see there's a huge amount of value in that $50 a month. The, the other thing that above this that I would recommend is Infusionsoft, but that's $300 a month at the beginner level. So um, you'll see a thousand contacts, $49 is what I'm paying. Custom branding, one-on-one -on -one training, SMS marketing, up to 25 users. So, you know, you could put in 25 salesmen. Uh, uh, I got it for the CRM look, so the cheap version doesn't have the CRM. It's a CRM that that I wanted, uh, but you're gonna get 25 users for 50 bucks a month. So you can, like, say you can put your all your salesmen, your accounts department, your HR department, your your your, your service install department. If you're a service industry, um, at 25 users, you can have anybody you want in there. Moving around and and working on it daily. Um, so I hope that helped. I know it was a little bit all over the shop as usual, but there's just so much to show. I probably haven't shown you everything now, uh, looking at this video that's playing out. <laughs> but well worth you taking your time to use that 14 day free trial to dive in and get involved uh, with it if you're looking for a CRM online somewhere and you're looking to send newsletters and automate stuff. I haven't seen anything easier. I've used Aweber, MailChimp, Entreport even, uh, and I haven't seen anything that's as easy to use as Active Campaign. Uh, Click funnels as well. So fully, thoroughly recommend you giving it a try. Um, thanks for watching. Give me a like, dislike if you're still here. If you're still here, hopefully it's a like. Leave a comment below with any questions. Uh, you know, I'll help as best as I can. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.